This is the Gary V Audio Experience. If I don't have a job in right this minute in the world, I'm applying to a thousand places in a day. Right. People are fucking talking to me about like getting their resume together. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Hello? Matt, it's Gary V. You're on the Ask Gary V Show reboot, episode one, or maybe not. I don't know how the team's gonna do it. How are you? That I'm incredible. How are you? Matt, I'm so good. I have good news. In your Wikipedia one day, it will say that you were the first caller on the Ask Gary V Reboot Episode 1 show. What do you think about that? This is, this is crazy. I was just watching you on LinkedIn and I'm like in my car and I like off the car today. So I'm moving my car while Pavel came to sleep talking to you. I love it, brother. What's your question? So my question is, so I'm currently, I just recently moved to New York City back in August. And I've been working as an executive assistant at a scaffolding company. And so I'm really just trying to get kind of my feet under me and find a place to be because that job recently moved from Brooklyn to Staten Island. So I'm looking for somewhere else to be. And so my question is, how do I stand out in the interview process? I see. A couple ways. Everybody fucks up interviews because they fake. Because they try to conform to the job instead of tripling down on who they are. So in a world where everyone's reverse engineering the judge and they're giving answers they think, you should see people come to me when they interview with me. All they do is regurgitate shit that I've put out on the internet thinking I'm gonna like it when I can sense they're full of shit. Right. So you need to, bro, you need to be 100% you and it's a numbers game. I don't understand how people don't understand this. Send five fucking thousand resumes on LinkedIn and Instagram DM to the 5,000 places you want to work, AKA the 39 places you want to work and every single person that can make a decision in those companies. Bro, this is a great opportunity. Like, if you just move back and you're in this predicament, this is your chance to actually take, how old are you? I'm 22. Even better. Bro, what are your three favorite things in life? Like sports, wine, you know, what, are you, what do you like? Well, I I spent like ten years. I don't give a fuck. Back, no, 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 no. I loved it. Okay. I loved, okay. I loved it. And the thing is, is that I, I did that in Massachusetts. I just moved from Massachusetts to New York. Fuck and the Patriots. I wanted to. I, you know, I just graduated college. Um, I love. I studied criminal justice and psychology. I loved that. I did a lot of nonprofit work, and so I was doing things with that. I love working with kids. I love. Those three things. Bro, you have, really... you have to go work at a UFC training facility. Yeah. I think. I mean, you love yeah, psychology, I mean, you love kids, you love mixed martial arts, right? Yeah, I, I trained in Taekwondo since I was seven, I'm 22 now. Bro, don't be a dick. Go into that field. Being an executive admin for a fucking scaffolding company is no different than being an executive admin right now at Rumble for Eugene or at some fucking, I don't know, like there's probably 700 fucking gyms. Right, or, yeah, and I, and, I, and I wasn't happy there and I, and I left, I just left. That's just one, I'm like yeah. full on like, cause I, I, just, I just wasn't happy. So I was meeting, working crazy hours, just doing things that I wasn't, I didn't want are we to ta- do. Are we talking about the scaffolding after. company or are we talking about? Yeah, 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 okay. the scaffolding company. Good. I left there because I, I just didn't like it. It sucks. It was, it was nice, it got me here. I was able to save a little money, so I'm able to kind of search for the next month. And by the way, and, and that saving that. money thing, like one of the things I think a lot about, it, yeah, dude, and it's, that month is gonna go like this which is why I love side hustles at night. Like, to me, bro, are you living at home or living with somewhere? My, uh, my girlfriend and I have an apartment right out of right in Queens. So, what, so uh, what, what, we're doing that right one now. One strategy to think about is what can you do from 6 p.m. to like 10 p.m. as a side right. hustle or as a bullshit job just to pay for your rent and whatever minimal food you need to eat until you mm-hmm. get the, my biggest concern is you save for a month now you're holding your breath, you don't find a good job, you're gonna take another bullshit job in two months because you're worried to pay for rent. This is what everybody does, they go into a jail. Right, which is why I don't wanna also like just take anything that I can get at the same time and have that be my off. So, you, so, you, need, to so you need to build, quick. I get it brother, so you need a framework yeah. from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. so you can spend 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. to get that job. Mm-hmm. This is why I love flipping so much. This is why I love humility and working at 7-Eleven in a 24-hour convenience store to, and living in a shitty place. I want people out of the jail of fucking taking a job they don't like just to pay for fucking an apartment with their girlfriend. Right, absolutely. 
absolutely. And I and I think I've done a lot of like auditing because I've been following you for probably like four or five years now, and I've just kind of really audited myself because I was on that kind of like kick of like wanted to do something myself, wanted to do my own thing. And I'm like, re- I'm realizing, I'm coming yes. to terms with the fact that I'm not that person. Dude. I'm the person more so to support the ideas. I feel like I'm better at that. And so, a, I love you I for, I love that. you for that self awareness, and it makes me feel so good because, as even though I'm the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, literally two different people came to me in Miami this weekend and said, "My favorite entrepreneur, you're their favorite entrepreneur." You know, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I've seen that in other like stuff, like your athlete's favorite athlete." And I was like, "Oh shit," but. What I'm so pumped about is I'm actually putting out content to make people not be entrepreneurs when they're not. I want to talk about self-awareness, not entrepreneurship. Right. I want to talk about happiness, not making money. Absolutely. Brother, listen to me. Figure out a way to make money from 7 p.m. to midnight, whether that's eBay, the flip shit's real. Between or some 24-hour fucking job. And I'm fine with waiting tables and doing things like that. I can like see, that. Like I can hear in your problem. voice. So great, this is the game. Do that in parallel with spending 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. on hitting up every single person in martial arts and mixed martial arts that you could be the admin for. Well, what if I don't want to go down that road? What if Let, I want to go another one. The, the criminal justice route and, uh, and the, the marketing side that I've done with, with work in the past when I've done nonprofit work, I've Love. done things like that, and so I'm trying to get more experience. So are we, tr- are, we trying to go, are we trying to go as literal as you want to do the marketing for a law firm? Maybe. Uh, that's the thing. Of course, I'm very much in the, in the realm of like one is the taste thing. Good. That I, so I, I'm on, here's, like, so here's I'm the good news. To real estate stuff. I'm applying to administrative work and a lot of why real estate. To get experience. Because I had a connection back in Boston that uh, him and I spoke of a lot for a company here in New York City, and so that we've been kind of talking about that and I've been getting contact and applying with. Why? Because I think. I want to try, I'm, oh, why? why not? I'm no, 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 not why not, not why not, not why not, why not's a shit answer, why? Because my concern, I, my concern if I can be transparent is you may yeah. think there's money in it. Nothing you said prior got me excited about real estate. Okay. I, I could be wrong, we're just doing the Ask Gary Vee show here. But, <laughs> but why not is a horrible answer and a lot of people use that as a catch all for what they're really saying, which is this might be able to make me some money. Other people have mm-hmm. made money in it. I might want to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, I respected the guy who, who spoke to me and the connection I made back in when I was living in Massachusetts and the value that he projected was nope. being in that position no. when people are in the real estate situation nope. when they're trying to, nope. it's the, the company nope. itself, I don't know if I mm-hmm. mentioned the company. You can do whatever the fuck you want. That. Go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, well, it's, it's, they're basically trying to redefine the scumminess of the industry, and I've always been a supporter of trying to, you know, cut the bullshit out and cut all that out and be, you know, the best person in that field, whether it's like doing doing the good, doing the the good thing for that field, and so that's why. I'm Look, that's the that. that's the first seed of something where okay, you're going to use a very macro point of view to justify right. why. Res- I respect a lot of people. I don't want to do that thing for the majority of my life. Right. Just because you was- that goes, Does that go back to like the taste thing? Like if you're like mildly into it or do you think that's like total bullshit because that's no, like the whole no, mind I, situation? Look, it all comes down, honestly, this whole game comes down to how much humility do you have? Are you and your right. girl willing to live in an even worse apartment for the next eight years and are you willing to work at 7-Eleven or something or wait tables for eight years because tasting sounds fun on paper but the way you're talking about it is is a very uh, structured way where you're gonna have to do everything for a year or two. So you're gonna taste four things in eight years. Whereas if somebody's really willing to go humble, doesn't have a significant other, is willing to live on couches, they could be rogue as fuck because they have no expenses. You put yourself in a jail, you have rent. Right. You have a mental jail of the perception potentially of not being able to afford that rent and having to live with your parents or somebody else that may look bad to your girl and or everybody around you. You're creating a jail. Right. So that, le- that limits your tasting ability to maybe four things in eight years. Right. Do you have the humility and patience to step back after, at the age of 30 and saying, okay, I've done criminal justice, real estate, mixed martial arts and 
sports cards because I'm into it, and say, fuck, I don't like any of them. Do you have the ability to double down to 35? That is fucking mental fucking power that the far majority of people don't have and I don't want to impose my mental prowess on others, which is why I want to talk through this in an articulate way to bring as much value to as many people as possible predicated on how I roll. Right. Now, there's a lot of things you can do with that information. You can have a conversation with your girl and say, listen, we need to cut our costs to zero. How are we gonna do that? Who's our best friend from school that now lives here? Can we crash with them? I have no idea where parents live or others, older siblings. Like, this is the game of making it operational. Right. Happiness has to be the ROI, brother. Absolutely, and that's why, that's why right now I'm focusing on like, specifically looking at places to, to work. I know I'm, I'm thinking, I think I'm thinking too long term rather than just putting it all out there and applying as many places as possible. Correct, correct. In a game of no's, you have to try to get as many yeses as possible. You have no options yet. Right. Everybody overthinks it and they're trying to like, here's what happened. We live in a society of so much fruitfulness over the last 30 years and school is fake that people think they actually have more options than they do. Mm -hmm. Because the system's now not in your favor. It's not telling you what to do. It's an open slate. So what you have to do is fucking spray. Not pray, spray and wait. If I don't have a job in right this minute in the world, I'm applying to a thousand places in a day. Right. People are fucking talking to me about like getting their resume together. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? DM 500 people, LinkedIn 500 people, and, and really tell them the truth about who you are. You have the humility and, and strategy, which I think is smart, to be an admin or a right hand. The world is your fucking oyster. I would fucking DM Dana White and reply, yo, I will eat shit for 24 months and close every fucking gap in your life like a fucking dog if you give me a shot. Guess what? If God willing, Dana White by accident saw that DM on what I just told you to write, you're getting that job. Yeah, and then you do that 500,000 times in a week. It's just increasing that chance. And you end up on Team Gary Vee. That I apply for. Apply again. Thank you, brother. You got it. Thank you, Gary. As we end today's podcast, I want to give a huge shout out to the people. You know, it's so funny. People that leave reviews and written reviews of this podcast on Apple, Spotify, and all the other platforms just mean the world to me. You've taken an extra 13 to 95 seconds to show love and also give context to people of why this is a worthwhile podcast. So I appreciate that so much. And even more fun... Uh, because I think we all love a little cosign or a shout out or a little awareness. Uh, I'm gonna have the team give a couple of shout outs uh, daily on uh, our favorite reviews. So take it away, which were our favorites this week. Thanks so much, Gary. Today's amazing five-star review reads, I love how Gary is raw and direct. There's no fluff to this podcast. You get real and helpful information without beating around the bush. I love it. We love your review. Thank you so much for that. And to anybody else listening out there, if you leave us a review, you might just get shouted out in the next episode.